Mr. President, we have a national emergency. Nuclear weapon atop a ballistic missile has been launched from a freighter off the coast of the United States. The weapon is not designed to kill Americans, at least not directly and right away. Instead, it is meant to unleash EMP, an electromagnetic pulse that destroys electronic devices and power grids. The single explosion unleashes electronic waves a million times more powerful than any radio signal on Earth. In the United States, Nearly all computers fail. Telecommunications end. Transportation comes to a halt. The stock market's crippled. Bank accounts disappear. Federal officials warn EMP could paralyze America, instantly returning our country to a pre-industrial age. And they say we are utterly unprepared for it. If you think about the effect of an electromagnetic pulse, it would be a, um, a devastating impact. The, not only would the power grid be out, it would be out for probably months, but every piece of electronics that we use, from pacemakers to phones to cars to gasoline pumps to water pumps, would all be fried. With such weapons, an EMP weapon, meaning a small nuclear bomb, detonated above the center of the United States would literally take down the entire power grid of this country. Wow. Plunging I, us back three to four hundred years. That, that. An EMP produces damaging current and voltage surges, burning out the semiconductor chip of any electronic device within line of sight. The result of that is a complete shutdown of the electronic system. Were the blast to occur high enough, the entire continental United States would be left with no electric power or the things that depend on electric power. Medical services wouldn't be available because they needed electric power. Telephones wouldn't work. The traffic lights would stop working. Big traffic jam. Transportation would be shut down. Electronic funds transfer wouldn't work, so you wouldn't get your paycheck. You wouldn't be able to use your credit card. Food stocks would run out very quickly. Everything we know about life today that makes it convenient and efficient would be shut down. It would mean that the basically uh, we would go back to a pre-industrial era overnight in seconds. Pentagon estimates show that by the year 2015, Iran could have missiles capable of reaching the east coast of the United States. If the Iranians acquire a nuclear bomb, they might be able to cripple their great Satan even sooner through an electromagnetic pulse or EMP attack off America's coastline. Iranian military handbooks point out the benefits of such an attack, and Russia, China, and North Korea also possess EMP technology. Within a year, of an, of an EMP event, uh, at least two-thirds of the American population would perish from uh, starvation, disease, and societal collapse. Prize nightmare scenario shows Iran or its terrorist proxy Hezbollah parking an unmarked freighter off America's east coast or in the Gulf of Mexico. They would fire a nuclear-tipped scud above a city like New York, then immediately sink the freighter to destroy evidence of their handiwork. Former CIA double agent Reza Khalili spent time as a member of Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps. He says the Iranians have conducted missile tests off of ships in the Caspian Sea that are consistent with an EMP-style attack. We've disguised his face and voice for his safety. They're going to get to Gulf of Mexico with ballistic missiles, and uh, they can launch one uh, at a moment's notice, and they wouldn't care about the repercussion. They had a commission that put reports out on this years ago that projected 90% of all Americans could be dead within a year after such an attack. This is a catastrophic threat waiting to happen, and that North Korea, China, and Russia all understand it and are all working on it. I was out at a conference near Los Alamos of our country's leading experts. That was one worried crew. What if everything stopped working? What if you woke up one morning and nothing worked? What if there was no electricity, no telephones, no cars, no running water? What if everything just stopped working? How would you contact your family? How would you live? How long would you live? The idea that we're going to suddenly be shocked one morning because one of these missiles has a nuclear weapon and does something that dramatically changes America, I, I think is a very dangerous idea. And I find it very difficult uh, to watch the U.S. government be, be passive as the North Korean dictatorship continues uh, to develop its capacity to deliver nuclear weapons. Or what are we working on to prevent it? Nothing. 
We in the West, in the democracies, have a propensity to lie to ourselves, just as we did in the 1930s about Adolf Hitler and about Nazism. The congressional study EMP report from 2004 indicated potential casualty rates of 90 percent. That commission was disbanded back in the spring. We have been kidding ourselves. Uh, the North Koreans have been steadily working towards this capacity. The Iranians are laughing at us as they continue to build more and more centrifuges to build uh, the capacity for nuclear weapons. Hamas laughs at us as they continue to fire missiles into Israel.